Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song called Slow Down by Selena Gomez, and we're going to end up capoing this on 4th fret. But it starts with a really cool little guitar lick, actually, that you can kind of work some thirds for. So you can go 5th fret on the G string and 7th fret on the D string, and that's a little A minor third. You can kind of play that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And, and then we're going to kind of take that shape and then slide it down to the 2nd fret on the G string and 3rd fret on the D string at the same time play that twice, and then we slide that shape down to 1st and 2nd fret, which is like a little E major 3rd, and then we go back to kind of that little F major 3rd with that 3 and 2, and then we kind of go to 3rd fret again and kind of play that and then slide it all the way to 4th fret and 5th fret. So we're kind of taking that 3rd that fret from, from the F and then kind of sliding it into what, what would be a G major 3rd. So you got kind of A minor 3rd, F, F, E. It's kind of kind of that main lick, and the chords that would actually kind of back up those thirds actually would start on an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor, and it sounds really really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to go into an F major. We'll talk about an easy way to play that. But if you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an F major. But a lot of times, if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the bars, you can substitute for that something called F major 7. <laughs> and so the way you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and the third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum all those together, that's, or, or just the D to the high E string, actually, you to get your clear sound out of that. And that's called F major 7. And then from the F, we're going to be going to an E major chord. When we play E major, the first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger is on the A string on the second fret, the third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes an E major chord to sound really happy. So that's our main progression actually for our verse two in our intro. It's kind of that A minor, F major, E major, A minor, F major, E major. A lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. We'll talk about a couple actually. But one of my favorite strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up for a 4 4 like this. So we took the A minor, just tried that a lot to get used to it. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now the weird part of applying that to our intro and our verse is the F and the E major kind of half. So one way to do that is to do the F for kind of a down, down, up, and then the E with a down, down. So if you try it that way, you have A minor with a down, down, up, up, down, F with a down, down, E with a down, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, F with a down, down, E with a down, down, up. But for myself, though, on that part, actually, the way it really kind of sounds in the recording is the F kind of happens for the down, down, and the E would happen on the up, up, down. So we tried it that way. You have A minor with a down, down, up. Up, down, F with a down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, F on the down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, the down, down, up, up, down, F on the down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, E on the up, up, down, up. And randomly, there's this cool little keyboard lick that comes in actually on some breaks where you may want to just kind of take the E and kind of kill the strings. And then you can go to, to, to kind of the first fret on the B string and then second on the G. And then first fret on the G, and then second on the G, and then play second on the G again and kind of leave enough pressure on it to slide it to fourth fret. So you're going one, two, one, two, two, four is kind of a cool little keyboard that you might want to throw in. And then we're basically repeating that until we get to our chorus part. And on our chorus, we start on A minor, and then we go to the F major, and then we go to a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger is going to actually stay on the B string first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really heavy. And then from the C major, we're going to go into a G major chord. The way we play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then we're basically repeating that. Now, now there are a couple different strum patterns actually that could work through the chorus. One would be to do the down, down, up, up, down. So if we tried it that way, we'd have A minor, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, G, down.
Skrillex bass sound that happens through the chorus there. I almost feel like doing kind of a long down and then a down, down, almost like a 16th note strum pattern feel. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now our down, down, up, up, down kind of divides that into two parts. So one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what can be a lot of fun actually is a long down and then a down, down. And how that relates to the 16th note, if you strum an A minor for kind of a down for four, one, two, three, 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 four, that's what you're doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you're doing down on one, down on three, up on four. So then you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So all together, it's kind of a long down. with Selena Gomez, instead of starting on an A minor chord, she's actually starting on a C sharp minor chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 4th fret, now your A minor is really a C sharp minor, your F major is really an A major chord, and your E major is really a G sharp major chord, and when we get to it, the C major is really an E major chord, and your G major is really a B major chord. Now this gets a little weird with our intro lick, because where we were 5th fret, now we're going to be... So we're really going to kind of be lining up to kind of ninth and 11th fret, and we're going to do that five times. And then our 3 and 2 is really going to be 7 and 6th fret, and then our 1 and 2 is really 5th and 6th fret. So that might be a little weird to kind of work that lick, but that would be a very, very cool way to kind of intro the tune. And then from there, or if we're strumming through that, or kind of backing it up with our verse progression, we could just strum through it. So then we have A minor down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, E, down, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, E, down, down, up. Or you could kind of work that halfing thing where we had the A minor, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, E on the up, up, down, E on the down, down, up, up, down, F on the down, down, E on the up, up, down, up. So that would be kind of one way to kind of approach it. Now, um, so if we tried that through our verse part, uh, we'd have A minor, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, the down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, the down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, the down, down, up, up, down, up, the down, down, E on the up, up, down, up. And then we kind of have that break, and we might want to jump into the keyboard lick. Kind of throw that in. And then we'd be back to our verse again. So A minor, down, up, up, down, up on the down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up on the down, down, E on the up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up on the down, down, E on the up, up, down, E on the down, down, up, up, down, up on the down, down, E on the up, up, down, up. And it would be going into our chorus part. So if we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have A minor with the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, C, down. Now we can also do it with the 16th note pattern if we tried it that way. We have A minor, down, down, up, down, 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 C, down, 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 C, down. And then from 
from there, we'd be going back into our verse part. Now, something else I would think about adding to the song, though, is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, the down, down, up, up, down, you could throw in a bass note for the chord. Kind of simulate playing with a bass player. So on the A minor, you could throw in an A for your bass. Down, up, up, down. You are the A bass. Down, up, up, down. On the F major 7, you have the D for your bass. So D bass. Down, up, up, down. If you're doing the full bar F major, you have the low E string for your bass. On the E major, you've got the low E string for your bass on the E. And then on the C major, you have an A string for your bass. And then when we get to the G major, you have the low E string for your bass on that chord too. So if we're going to try and apply that to the verse, the weird part is the A minor would kind of get that whole pattern. But then on the F, we do kind of a bass down up and then the E with a bass down up. At least that's one way to kind of work it. So you have A minor with an A bass down up, up, down, down with the bass. kind of try it this way too, we could kind of take the F and do the bass down and not worry about the bass on the E to get the up, up, down, and kind of half that way. So we try that that way, we'd have A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, E on the up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, E on the up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, E on the up, up, down, A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, E on the up, up, down, up. So then if we tried our next chord, us with our bass idea, we'd have A minor with an A bass down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with the bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with the bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with the bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down. Now we could kind of throw in our basses with our 16th pattern too, so we tried it that way. We'd have A minor with the bass, down, down, up with the bass, down, down, to the A bass, down, down, to the B bass, down, down, A minor with the A bass, down, down, up with the bass, down, down, to the A bass, down, down, to the B bass, down, down, A minor with the A bass, down, down, up with the bass, down, down, to the A bass. kind of a piece of our verse. So we kind of be back to the A minor and the F E. So if we tried that with kind of that syncopation with the basses, we'd have A minor. And actually what could be cool too is actually if you wanted to match that 16th pattern for our verse, you could. And, and so the weird part is you could even take the F and make it a down, down, up, and the E with a down, down. So one way to do that, you'd have A minor with a down, 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 F with a down, down, F with a down, down, F with a down, 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 F with a down. Adventures, you could throw in the basses like A minor with an A bass, down, down, up with the bass, down, you with a low E bass, down, you are the A bass, down, down, up with the bass, down, you with a low E bass, down, you are the A bass, down, down, up with the bass, down, you with a low E bass, down, you are the A bass, down, down, up with the bass, down, you with a low E bass, down, up. So I kind of play around with that. And then after that, that part actually, we're going back into kind of our, our chorus part. So we tried that with just our bass down, up, up, down, up. We have A minor with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up with the bass, down, up. in actually like through that part actually it's kind of like a little keyboard like if you wanted to kind of play some of those notes you go first fret on the B string and then we go to second fret on the G string and then we go open E and then we got open B so it's kind of going from a C note or I'm thinking a C note A note E note oh, E note and if you wanted to, you could even kind of hybrid pick that and kind of get some bass notes in it with your fingers. This might be kind of an interesting thing is you could throw in like the open A for your A minor chord. When you go to the second fret on the G string, you can throw in low E on the first fret for your F. Third fret on the A string for open E, kind of working off the C chord. And then go with third fret on the low E string with an open B. And you could even do that finger style. Actually, it might even feel better finger style. Like just doing singular, you know, kind of working thumb and fingers. Get those notes together. 
might be kind of an interesting thing, or you could just use it as a lead guitar thing. And then we'd basically be repeating our, our chorus, actually, for our outro. So we try that one more time with our 16th. We have A bass, down, down, down the bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down, down to the A bass, down, down, down to the bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down to the A bass, down, down, down. And I know they don't do this in their recording, but for me, I would want to end it on A minor. But, uh, but that, that's the basics of how you could play Slow Down by Selena Gomez. So good luck.